The APIC processing kit contains three individual kits for each processing step. Kit number one contains the components for blood collection. Kit number two contains the components for the centrifugation step. And kit number three contains the components for the concentration step. Using the components in kit number one for blood collection, connect a red blunt fill needle to each of the 60 ml syringes. Alcohol swab the ACDA port and insert the blunt fill needle into the bag. Collect 7 mLs of ACDA into each of the 60 mL syringes. Take these syringes along with the other components for blood collection to patient bedside. Prepare the patient for blood draw and perform venipuncture using the provided butterfly needle. Connect the syringe to the extension line of the butterfly and begin blood collection. Collect blood into the syringe to reach a total volume of 45 mLs. Pinch the extension line on the butterfly to prevent blood flow and carefully disconnect the syringe containing 45 mLs of anticoagulated blood and pass it off to a second operator. The second operator will connect a blunt plastic cannula to the syringe and gently invert to adequately mix the whole blood in anticoagulant. Once all syringes contain 45 mLs of blood, Open kit number two for the centrifugation step. Remove the tubes from the sterile packaging and place in the tube racks. Ensure that the graduations of the tubes are directed outward so the volume can be properly measured. Remove the cap from the blunt plastic cannula and insert the cannula into the center septum of the apex centrifuge tube cap. Be sure not to force the cannula completely into the apex centrifuge tube. Transfer the blood from the syringe into the centrifuge tube by pressing firmly enough to have the blood flow down the sides of the tube in a V fashion. Repeat this step for the remaining tubes. Ensure that each apex centrifuge tube contains the same volume of blood. Carefully load the tubes into the centrifuge. Close the lid and lock. When the cycle is complete, remove the tubes and place in the rack so the wall of red cells is facing away from you. Remove the metal plasma collection needle from the sterile packaging and connect to the 60 ml syringe provided in kit number two. Remove the sheath cap from the needle and discard. Alcohol wipe the septum of each centrifuge tube and carefully insert the plasma collection needle into the tube. Slowly collect plasma from the top down. Collect 15 to 20 cc's of plasma, being careful not to disturb the buffy coat. Ensure that the plasma collection needle is at least two graduations above the buffy coat at all times. Once you've collected 15 to 20 cc's, repeat for the remaining tubes. Remove the APIC concentration kit from the sterile packaging. Remove the twist tie from the beige tubing and discard. Place the APIC concentration kit onto the pump housing. Alcohol wipe the blue port of the APIC concentration bag. Disconnect the plasma collection needle from the syringe and discard. Connect the syringe to the blue port of the APIC concentration bag by lure connection. Transfer the plasma into the APIC concentration bag and disconnect the syringe. Load the tubing into the pump head by securing the tubing between the tubing retainers on each side of the pump head. With the tubing properly secured, lock the pump lever. Press start to begin the 20 minute cycle. The waste bag will begin to fill up as the volume in the concentration bag decreases. Once the cycle is complete, the pump will read APIC ready. Close the clamp on the waste bag and the concentration process is complete. Alcohol wipe the blue port and connect a syringe to withdraw the APIC. 